Dear virtual visitor, welcome to IMAX Radio Frequency Lab. In this lab, we develop and test our innovative technology for the future intuitive Internet of Things. This will be a smart Internet of Things that unobtrusively surrounds us and interacts with us to bring comfort, safety and well-being. Technically speaking, the intuitive Internet of Things is based on two components. On the one hand, we'll have multiple smart sensor networks that ensure connectivity between things. And, on the other hand, a multitude of different sensors extracting information from our environment. Today, we will give you a two-minute preview of such a future sensor, a fully integrated 79 GHz radar sensor. Radar sensors offer three main advantages. First, they are extremely robust, working in all imaginable circumstances such as darkness, rain, fog, dirt, heat and adverse lighting conditions such as glaring sun. Second, radars are fully sealed and can be invisibly mounted which is good for aesthetics, but more importantly for privacy, where cameras are clearly disadvantaged. And finally, with ever-advancing technology, future radars will be very small, as you can see from the prototype that we're developing. We're testing the radar in an anechoic environment. This ensures that our measurements are not corrupted by unwanted reflections. This motorized setup allows us to move the targets in a very well-controlled and reproducible way. The targets in this experiment are radar corner reflectors, which have a very well-controlled radar reflection signature. The measurement setup is composed of a few power supplies to generate the power to run the chip, our own radar module that we want to test an FPGA platform for data readout and pre-processing and finally a PC running MATLAB software for data post-processing. In the first experiment we'll show you we only activate one transmit and one receive antenna. In this configuration it's possible to calculate the distance from the radar to the target as well as to find out whether the target is moving towards the radar instead of moving away from it. However, we cannot deduce angular information from this setup. To know in which direction the target is situated, we need more antennas, for instance two transmit and two receive antennas as shown in the next experiment. In the second experiment, we activate two transmit and two receive antennas. In this configuration, it's possible to calculate the distance from the radar to the target to find out whether the target is moving towards the radar instead of moving away from it. And on top of that, to deduce the direction where the target is. In the second experiment, we activate all four transmit and four receive antennas. This configuration is much more complex because now we'll have to make two chips collaborate in perfect harmony. The upside is that we can increase the angular resolution beyond the capability of the 2x2 system. At iMac we're developing the key technology to realize four benefits of next generation radar systems. First, high resolution. It will detect persons. Second, small size. It can be integrated anywhere. Cars, smart buildings, homes and in the future also drones. Third, low cost. Plain CMOS, the same technology that makes your smartphone twice as cool every year and also ensures a steady decline of power consumption. And finally, low power. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us to review our latest 60 GHz CMOS radio developments. 
If you're interested in an R&D collaboration, please don't hesitate to contact us at the below address.